How is it possible that the U.S. government could spend uh, first before it gets the money? Right. So that's like uh, if, if you go to the movie theater or the mm -hmm. football stadium. Like nobody thinks they collect a ticket first before they sell it. Okay, so it's, it's the same thing. When you're the source of the thing, all the dollars to pay taxes can only come from the federal government or its agents, or else they're called counterfeit. You can't do that. And so they, as a point of logic, necessarily have to spend first before they can collect, or, you know, or, or spend first before payments can be made back to them. And if you think about the concept of spending first, Nobody can pay taxes until after the funds are out there. If you think about how the euro started, on, what, on, you know, on, on the last day of the old currencies, you've got lira, marks, and pesetas, and then the next day everybody has euro. So how did that happen? Well, the European Central Bank bought the money supply, right? If you had a bank account with pesetas, the next day you had a bank account with euro. They bought it, took, took euros. The, you know, the reason the currency has value is because it's the tax credit, the thing needed to pay taxes, and so the euro was now the new tax credit. They were all taxing in euro, and the old currencies were worth nothing, except for what the European Central Bank bought them for on day right. one. But after that, they're not worth anything because they're no longer needed to pay taxes. And so uh, there's a giant case of spending first before anybody could pay taxes or buy bonds, right?